The internet provides an endless loop of content to mindlessly scroll through, but you do not have to let it suck away all your time and your energy and your attention. Might I suggest trying one of these 50 free or almost free self-care activities instead of doom scrolling. Create a self-care playlist on Spotify. Music can be such a powerful tool for relaxation and stress relief. You can also check out my playlist on Spotify. <laughs> Do a home workout with a YouTube video or maybe while playing your favorite sitcom. Great way to improve your physical and your mental health at the same time. Try potting a plant or maybe gardening. It's such a rewarding, relaxing hobby and plants can help you improve your air quality and also reduce stress. The easiest one to start with, money plant. Customize your phone with a new wallpaper. You can create one on Canva or any other free design software. Go on Pinterest and create a vision board. We as it is have very few days left till the end of 2024 and this can be such a great way to get into the new year spirit. Plan out your next month. It can help you become more organized, more in control and you will have so much less stress to deal with once you actually enter next month. Put on a face mask and listen to that Spotify playlist you just created. And if you are environmentally conscious and you don't want to use sheet masks, create your homemade uptans. Go for a walk in your local park. Spending time in nature is one of the best ways to reduce stress. And do not go on your phone while you're walking. Invite a friend to go watch the sunset. I'm sure there are spots in and around your city where you can see the sunset beautifully. Go to that hill, cliff, little empty road and go watch the sunset with your friend. Clean up your makeup brushes. Ladies, they have a lot of bacteria. And if you have time to doom scroll, you have time to clean your makeup brushes. Clean your room. Decluttering is one of the most therapeutic things you can do. And it's a great way to tell yourself that you care about your own hygiene and well-being. Declutter your wardrobe. If you don't want to take on your room and it sounds too big, start with one wardrobe. Decluttering your wardrobe will help you organize your clothes and figure out what are the things that you are not actually wearing. Try a few different hairstyles. This used to be one of my favorite things to do back in college. I used to put on YouTube videos teaching different hairstyles and that is how I learned to do a lot of different stuff. It is time consuming so I don't do it very very regularly anymore but it is such a great way to learn this new skill. Create a video journal. Open your phone. If you are going to scroll, you might as well do this. Open your phone, record a video of yourself speaking about how your day went. And if you can do this every single day by the end of the year, you will have a series of beautiful videos recounting your experience through life. Create an art journal. Again, this activity I used to do in college, used to absolutely love it. Bring home a new art book or a workbook and fill it up with photos, with mementos, with stickers, with art that you have created. Or create fresh art for that journal and it will be one of the most rewarding experiences you can try. Try an adult coloring book. And adult does not mean adult, it just means a coloring book that is meant for adults. And let's see if you can color within the lines. Cook yourself something nice. My go-to meal for whenever I'm feeling low is ramen and or pasta. <laughs> what is yours? Let me know in the comments. Pick a new habit to try and just go try it out. Maybe you've been wanting to go to the gym forever. Maybe you've been wanting to start a morning routine. Maybe you have been wanting to start washing your feet before you go to bed. Why not start today? Put on your favorite dance music and just dance. Singing and dancing is one of the best ways to release stress. And if you live alone or if you live by yourself or even if you have your own room, just shut your door and do it for yourself. You'll have the best time. Plan a no phone day with your friends. Go out, go for a picnic, take your picnic basket and food with you, sit around, do some arts and crafts and just overall have a very fun day. Maybe you can take an analog camera or like a Polaroid camera to take pictures of each other while you're doing this. But the policy is not to use your phone. Pick up a new book. Reading is one of the best ways to escape into a new world and relax. And it doesn't have to be a self-help book. Or actually, spend a few hours at the bookstore. Try and read a couple of different books. See what catches your vibe. You can also invite a friend along to do this with you. Write a letter to your future self. 
email it to you, schedule it to be sent six months from now so that when you are six months from now, you get that email and you open it and you read and you feel really good about your life. Listen to an uplifting podcast while you're going about your day, while you're doing your chores. Just put on a very mindful feel good podcast and listen to it while you're doing your work. Write about your day. How did your day go? Express your feelings. What energized you? What drained you of energy? Journaling is such a beautiful self-soothing activity. You're absolutely gonna love it. Try a new hobby. I have been wanting to try pottery for the longest time and I haven't been getting a lot of time. That is an excuse. I have time to scroll on my phone, which means so do you. Go try out that hobby instead of just scrolling on your phone. Take an everything shower. Take out a couple of hours, do your entire hygiene, shave, cleanliness, routine and when you come out eat a hearty bowl of ramen or anything else that you prefer actually try a new recipe better yet try a new healthy recipe and see how you can make it the tastiest version of that recipe without making it unhealthy create a new style inspo board on pinterest and go ahead look for images that you want to become your current style and put them all in a board and that will probably inspire you to try new you fits as well. Try sketching, whether it's digital on your iPad or a notebook or a tablet, or whether it's in your art book. Pick a subject, try to sketch it out as best as you can. It's going to be relaxing, it's therapeutic when you do something with your hands. It doesn't have to be perfect, just enjoy the process. Do a movie marathon. Pick your favorite movie series, minus Harry Potter and do a movie marathon with your boyfriend or your girlfriend, even with your friends or your family members, whoever enjoys that set of movies. Make yourself a big tub of popcorn and just start binge watch it. Video call a friend you haven't spoken to in a while. Best way to reconnect and rekindle that old friendship. Write down things that you are grateful for. Keep going till you can't think of anything else. Write down affirmations. Remind yourself of the beautiful, amazing person that you are. Go attend a comedy show. You'll laugh, you'll have a lot of fun, you will bond with new people and you're going to come back home feeling fulfilled. Try box breathing. One of my favorite techniques for relaxing and calming down my nervous system whenever I'm getting stressed but it's also a great way to just be in the moment, be present, sort of meditate you're absolutely gonna love it. Practice visualization, which basically involves sitting down with your eyes closed and imagining what the ideal version of you will be like. What are they doing? What their life is like? Just envision yourself as that person. Give yourself an at-home manicure and pedicure. I absolutely love doing this from time to time. Just YouTube how you can do this and go ahead and do this. Go feed the local animals in your area. Spending time with animals is one of the most rewarding things that you can do for yourself and also for the animals. You can order dry food online or you can just go ahead, prepare something at home and go feed it to the strays. Just spend some time with your thoughts. I sometimes do this where I shut off all the lights, lie down on the bed and just stare at the ceiling. It's calming, it's therapeutic, and it gives me a lot of creative ideas. Make yourself a mocktail. I absolutely love doing this on Sundays when I have time. I will try a new recipe I found out on Instagram or on YouTube. I will order all the ingredients, make it for myself, and then enjoy. Try a new makeup look on yourself. Start looking at makeup not just as a tool for hiding imperfections, but as a tool for creative expression. Take out all of your palettes, take out all of your colors, and try a new look on yourself. It's very, very fun, trust me. Watch a documentary. Join a free course on any of these course websites and complete it. It will actually take a lot of your time and you will end up learning something new. Subscribe to and read a newsletter. A lot of newsletters pack a lot of powerful information and it can sometimes really be life-changing. Hint, hint to my newsletter in the description. <laughs> read a magazine. When was the last time you actually did this? I probably read a magazine seven or eight years ago. That was the last time I did like read a physical magazine. So go ahead, try it out. There's something beautiful 
about touching the pages of a magazine and reading it. Explore virtual museum tours for destinations that you want to go to. I have repeatedly done this for the Sistine Chapel and that tour is absolutely magical, absolutely beautiful. And it basically inspires you to try and make that trip a reality sooner than you'd like to. Clear out your inbox. I know there are thousands of unread emails sitting in your email inbox and you're not gonna do this on your phone. Go on your laptop, clear out your inbox, clear out all of the trash and the spam, make it spick and span clean as new. Invite your friends over to play a board game. Shasan is such an amazing game. Before that, we were playing Monopoly. Before that, we were playing Mono Deal and board games are such a fun way to connect with your friends for an activity to do for the evening. And if you play smart games like Shasan, it actually teaches you a lot of problem solving in a very short span of time. Learn a new language or just take up a new language on Duolingo. It's so much fun. You end up learning quite a bit and you can actually connect with other people while doing so. Bake a cake. You can do it in the microwave as well. You can even do it in a cooker. So if you say, if you give an excuse that you don't have the equipment, I am not going to believe that. <laughs> give one room or one area in your house a makeover. You could add artwork, you could paint, you could just change the upholstery, whatever works. And those I think were more than 50. This video is not going to have a review thing because that'll just be too much text for you to consume. <laughs> I hope that these were helpful. I had a lot of fun making this video. Let me know in the comments which self-care activity you are going to try next instead of scrolling. And I'm going to see you guys very, very soon in the next one. Bye.